Today's the day. Today is the day. Why? Because we have a special episode for you, for me, mostly for me. I need to get a haircut. All right, let's go get Mecca. We're gonna talk about his journey as an entrepreneur, as a barber, as just an all around motivational self-development beast. Here we go. Okay, this, this is why I already love Mecca. He said he will be here, so my haircut's at one. He will be here at 1.06 p.m. I can get behind somebody who's utilizing their phone and its maps to the minute. I'm all about it. I love it. Hey. Thanks for coming out. Some get hooked the day they're born. Some fall into it as time moves on. Some are defenseless when Cupid strikes. But I've been heartless ever since I opened my eyes. I'm gonna run from love. Yeah, I'm gonna run from love. My thing, I feel like people don't really find their true passion so early, uh -huh. let alone if they find it at all. Right. Um, so maybe like, you know, this idea of, of grinding, you know, past nine to five and then, you know, trying to look for more, you know, endeavors and, and you know, keep striving for greater. I think that's, uh, that's derived from yeah. this, you know, passion and, and uh, you know, trying to unlock that fulfillment, mm -hmm. you know, and I think people sometimes get stuck in, you know, what they're supposed to do or what their parents wanted them to do and just lose sight of who they are and what, and what they want. I feel so, that. you know, I, I really I really think about that just seeing like my my cousins and, and my other friends like they're content with what they're doing. Yep. And like, you know, they you know I've seen them tap into their interests and passion but they're going, you know, more conservative road. Yeah. You know, they're trying to get that nine to five when what they like to do but when it comes to, you know, entrepreneurship aspect, they're probably not going to tap into that. Right. My first haircut was basically in my, in my dorm room in uh, this residence hall called Neptune North. And um, one of my homies was like, in our group chat, he was like, hey, I need a quick touch up because can anybody do it real quick or know anybody? So me just being, you know, the person I am, I was like, I got you. Yo, I got yes. You. So yes. It, it was an opportunity and... You didn't know how, right? Like... No, no. Maybe you watch a few videos, but... I had, I had some, some or like... you knew the theory. The Walmart, like the cheapest Walmart, you know... That's so things. good. And then... And then I was like, yeah, sure, I got you. And then, you know, I did my best. It was like the worst lighting. Um, okay. Wasn't the best cut, but he was appreciative because it was free. And it was free. And, and it, was, it was what he just needed at the time. So from there, I'm like, I could, I could you know, pick this up. Do this. Um, and then from there, like his homie in the same organization, you know, took, it, took a chance with me. And he actually had some like better clippers. Uh -huh. Still Walmart or still like, you know, Retail, yeah. Um, and but he let me use those, and then I cut his hair, and it was pretty good. I actually have the video too. Okay. Um, and then he he was like he was like impressed, so he gave me his clippers, and from there that's what I used for like like two months before I just was like, yeah, let me just buy my own. This, in this idea of like grinding and, and, the, and the journey aspect of finding your passion and following that is not an easy thing. Right. So I think that's also a deterrent too. You know, people would just like to be comfortable and yeah, be comfortable in their in the situation scary. they are. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, the, my mantra of, you know, being comfortable with being uncomfortable yeah. is what, you know, I strive you know to always do because you know i was always i would say i was a, i was like a, a different person outside of like you know a group of common people mm -hmm. 
but I always felt that way to where like, I had to, like, like that's my nature. So I was like, right. when I'm uncomfortable, that's kind of how I always am. Right. So I have to find the uncomfortability in that uncomfortable you know, spot. That's cool. <laughs> Mecca, thank you for a job well done. Thank you for inspiring me to just absolutely keep on grinding, working three jobs, wanting to work three jobs, and probably want to work three more. Three beats. Go not only subscribe to me, duh, but uh, hit up Mecca. I'll put his Instagram below and his YouTube channel that's gonna pop off soon. Go subscribe.